Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome to Little Monster Eats. Today I am going to show you another three meals with one prep meal plan using pesto sauce as the common ingredient. So let's get started. I love pesto sauce and is something you will see me use a lot in my recipes. Although it is not hard to make, I actually really don't mind store-bought pesto. My favorite is this basil pesto. Since we are meal prepping and making three meals today, the store-bought brand will be perfect to save time. So the first recipe is going to be a pesto salmon and veggies foil bake. I love these foil bakes. You cook all the ingredients in a folded up piece of foil and it's so easy to throw everything in and then it's so easy to clean up and all the flavors melt together in that one packet. Have you guys ever cooked with this method? If you have, what did you make? Comment down below and let me know. So onto the pesto salmon. You're gonna go and start off by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Then get your foil sheet. Make sure it's large enough that you can wrap the sides up. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and lay down some asparagus. And you can use um, green beans or you can use zucchini, any vegetable that you like, but today I'm going to go ahead and use asparagus. going to drizzle it up with a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and some pepper. Next, I'm gonna lay down my salmon fillet. This one is about six ounces. Put it right here on top. After that, we're gonna add the pesto sauce. So you're gonna wanna use about one tablespoon to about one and a half tablespoons worth. And just spread it on top here, like that. All right, and then to finish it off, I'm gonna add on some cherry tomatoes that I cut in half. So, once you get all your ingredients in, you're going to want to wrap it up then. So, go ahead and get the top and the bottom of the foil, fold it over, like this. So you get down to the bottom, and then you're going to roll up the sides. Now, don't wrap it too tight and flat because you still want the heat to circulate in there. Once you have that done, you're gonna put it on a baking sheet and bake for about 20 to 28 minutes until the salmon is cooked through. This will depend on how thick the slice is and how done you like your salmon. So when you make these for your meal prep, you can do several packs and bake them all at once. And don't forget that if you plan to reheat for another day, you may wanna bake it at a few minutes shy so that it's not too overdone when you go to reheat it. Um, once it's done, it will look like this. Let's see how this is. Go ahead and unwrap it. Like so. And there you have it. Pesto salmon and veggies foil bay. Um, you can eat it as is, or you can eat it with a side of rice, or you can even eat it with some crusty bread and then dip it in the sauces that those have there. Alright, so that is the first meal. On to meal number two, using again the same pesto sauce. So meal number two is going to be a pesto chicken pizza bake. And for this recipe, you can leave your oven at the 400 degrees. I used chicken tenders that I had already seasoned with salt and pepper. And then I grilled them on the stovetop with some olive oil for a few minutes until they were cooked through. And then I cut them through into chunks. Um, here I have a ciabatta bread that I got, and you can use any kind of bread that you want. Um, anything that's kind of firm and that will be able to hold up to the sauces will be great. So you can use a French bread if you would like. So what I do is I'm gonna cut the bread horizontally so that it's long. And then you get these two halves right here. Once you have that, you're gonna start by spreading on the pesto sauce. Thank you. 
And next, you're going to add your toppings. Add any toppings of your choice. So like I said, today I'm going with uh, this grilled chicken that I seasoned with the salt and pepper. So I'm going to add on about half of it. And then I also use the same cherry tomatoes. I cut them in half as well, so I'm going to add that on as well. Some of those. And then top it off with some mozzarella cheese. And I like a lot of cheese, so let me put that on. Okay. And then um, once you have the cheese on, you're going to then put on the rest of your toppings. This is a lot of chicken, so let me just put a little bit more on the top here. And then again, the tomatoes. So it'll look like this. Pop it into the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese comes out all melted and everything is cooked through there. And once that is done, then it looks like this. So I already have it cut in half. Look, it looks nice and gooey. The cheese has already melted and the bread is nice and crispy as well. So um, that is going to be meal number two the chicken pesto pizza. Okay. And now on to the third meal, which is the final and the easiest meal. We're making a veggie pesto pasta. So first you're gonna wanna cook your pasta to al dente based on the package directions. I'm using farfalla or farfalle. I'm not really sure how to say it. Am I saying it right, guys? Um, but let's call it, how about we call it bow tie pasta because it also goes by that. Um, I cooked it and I drained it and then I added it to a bowl. I decided to make it a veggie pasta. So I have here some asparagus that I used again for the first meal with the fish. Um, this I roasted with some salt and pepper and olive oil in the oven. And then um, I have here the cherry tomatoes and then I also added some peas. Add in your ingredients. So asparagus. and the tomatoes and just for a little bit of a pop some green peas and then the star ingredient here is the pesto sauce now this pasta you can eat either uh, cold or hot so totally up to you i actually like it at room temperature so it makes it really easy to meal prep because you can make a couple of servings of it you can put it in the refrigerator and then when you get to your destination you can either uh, warm it up in the microwave or you can actually just leave it out for the couple of hours that you've already been there and you can just eat it as is but once you mix it up oops, you'll have here your veggie pesto pasta and there you have it this is your third meal here using our three meal with one prep let me show you again what we made today so we have the veggie pesto pasta we have the chicken pesto pizza and then we have the pesto salmon and veggie foil bake three meals with one prep using pesto sauce as always, if you find this meal prep helpful, please like and share. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow me on Instagram at Little Monster Eats. Thanks for watching and have a monsterific day.